The summer between my two years in the Central Washington University film program, I made a bunch of instructional videos for my dad. He's a high school ceramics teacher, and the videos were meant to pair with his level one class units on the history, ingredients, and methods of working with clay, as well as his potter's wheel tutorials. When I got back to Central, I decided to check out their ceramic studio. There's something about sculpture that almost all other forms of art cannot replicate. Unlike a painting or a photograph, a sculpture is tactile and can be viewed from multiple angles and perspectives. Each viewpoint can illuminate something new about the artist's craft and intention. Ceramic pottery takes this a step further. Not only does the piece have artistic value, it also has a practical use and application. Functionality is the history of the art form. These techniques that my father teaches to students today have been passed down from generation to generation. Cultures separated by continents have distinct styles and methods developed over the course of thousands of years. Standing in the ceramic studio, I can't help but feel connected to the past. Not just to the ancestors that crafted the fundamental building blocks of the form, but to my dad. I remember being in my dad's classroom when my cousin and I were still in elementary school. My dad would show us how to throw a pot on the wheel, guiding our hands around the wet ball of clay. Too many times I tried to make my bowl higher or wider and ended up pushing the whole thing in on itself. I try not to get discouraged or upset when things go wrong, and it's a lesson that I was taught here at the wheel. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting better. It's been a long time since I've thrown, but Luckily, I have this tutorial I found. 